Hello, and welcome back. So, this is where I'm going to work on my go-kart. Well, I'm going to try to work on my go-kart. Mainly going to change the color of it and stuff like that. I'm going to um, grind off the paint that's already on it and do stuff. So, I'm going to see if it works out. So, here it is. I'm going to have to remove all this junk that's around it to get it out first. Uh, and that's going to be such a task. And also, I'm going to have to open that door, move the lawnmower and everything like that. So, it's just going to be, it's going to be hard work. But I'm going to do it. So this is the uh, go-kart, finally got the thing out, uh, it runs perfectly fine, so, as you can see, there is some rust spots where the paint worn off, I don't, wait, I don't think that's much rust, there's rust over there, but that's where the paint's rubbing off, I'm gonna uh, redo all this paint, and uh, See, the motor works pretty good. It works um, perfectly. The only problem that we have here is that uh, the brakes on one side. I think it's that brakes. I'm not for sure. But uh, we bought a set of brakes that came in a two pack, and then we tried to uh, flip it for the other side, which didn't work. So we're going to have to. So this thing only has one brake. And so we're going to have to get some more brakes and install those. But all I'm doing today is grinding off the paint, the old paint, grinding off the paint and repainting it. And I'm going to see where I can go from there. I'm going to wash off the uh, go-kart with my uh, water hose so I can clean it off. The sun's really bright, but I'm going to clean it off. Yeah, all the dirt off and stuff, so we're gonna see how that works. Well, I kind of made a big mess. Uh, there's mud all over the place. But at least the go-kart's clean though. Look at that. So what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a uh, paint stripper, basically. Uh, it's going to grind off all the paint off this thing. So then I could use it to make it look better. I'm going to see if this works.
So I decided to uh, only get the rust spots now because I'm going because it's going to take forever just get doing the whole thing. This took about an hour to do this one thing. I'm still not going to finish around the corners and everything. So I'm planning on just getting certain the rust spots in certain areas. Uh, hopefully it will work out like that. Getting the rust spots. So I'm going to see how that turns out. So I'm planning on uh, taking this gold spray paint and spraying the tires uh, trims so that it would be gold and a much fresher look than this chrome uh, or this gray. Um, I tried to find some chrome spray paint but we didn't have any so we have gold so I'm going to see how it turns out. I don't know if it will look good or not so I'm going to see if it looks good on these um, I'm gonna have to wash it off first 
uh, so I can see how it's going to turn out. So I got a rag here. It's wet, so I'm just going to clean it all off. So what I have to this problem solve here. So basically I'm just gonna take my hand, I'm gonna like cover it like this, then spray around it. Hopefully that'll work. That's all I can do, because that tape ain't sticking. So see how it works. Hope it works out. So now my last option I have of right now is this white paint. The reason why I, I guess I gotta do it, the gold doesn't work, it broke. The gold broke, so I'm gonna use this white gloss white paint uh, for all this. Uh, the only problem why I didn't want to use it was because we're almost um, almost low. It's low, basically. Now let's see if this one works. There you go. The top looks fine. But I accidentally painted the uh, rubber of the tire right there, but I'm going to clean it off later. So it's just going to be the white like that because I'm going to paint the rest of the buggy orange. So it's going to be like a cream sickle. So I'm going to do this. Ah! So I'm going to do the same one for this one. I'm just going to clean it off and tape around it. But I, uh, last time I didn't tape around the bottom. I'm going to tape around the bottom this time. But uh, I'm going to clean it off and do the same thing. So I'm out of spray paint, and you could probably see my dog right there. It's funny. Okay. I'm not completely out, but I'm going to see if I can. Yeah, I am completely out. Well, got to go to plan two, I guess. Which I'm going to start coloring the uh, rim uh, paint I'm gonna start painting this orange so I got most of the rest out I got all the rest out on this bar that bar which is completely silver I've done it and then I got all the rust there I c couldn't get all the rest there off because the machines too big so uh, I'm just going to have to deal with it, but I got all the rust off there, and I lost my paper bag, so I, I'm going to have to get a new one. <coughs> the reason why I need the paper bag is to put it over the motor, so whenever I do spray this, which I'm going to have to get, uh, get that spot right there, yeah, I got to get that rust spot right there, but I'm going to put a rubber ba uh, bag on it, a plastic bag, and, uh, spray paint out so hopefully that'll work and I don't know I'm not gonna try to ooh that would have been a good idea take off the tires to spray paint the tires but I guess I'm just gonna leave that part of the uh, tires undone for now I'm not gonna deal with taking them off might do that another day but uh, as of right now I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna take my orange spray paint I'm going to 
go ahead and get the seats, or at least where I have already uh, got the rust off. I'm going to get, so basically that, where the seat goes, and right here. Uh, now this is full, so uh, it should be perfectly fine. Completely. So that's it. That's gonna do. It. So uh, we had to go to the store, and by the time we got back home to uh, last night, it was too dark to work on it. So I had to get up this morning. It's like, um, let me see. It's almost 12 o'clock now in the morning or in the afternoon. Uh, so I'm gonna to continue to work on my go kart. Uh, I ran it, or I turn it on, it works perfectly fine. I'm just going to finish uh, painting it orange with the white trim. Uh, so I decided to get some of this. It's from my dad's garage. Uh, it's used to, um, for the tire, rubber tires, it's to make them shine. But also you could use it, so if you spray around it, the trim of the tire and if you so paint won't stick to it paint won't stick to the rubber so you can wipe it off afterwards uh, I'm going to be using this so I won't get paint on the black tires and also make it shine it help make it shine and look cleaner and what I forgot to do in the last uh, yesterday in the last episode is put WD-40 on the squeaky bits of the uh, go kart so I'm going to do that today as well. So, actually work on it and possibly get it done by the end of the day. And hopefully, um, I got a sander. Like yesterday, I was using a grinder to grind off all the rust. But today, uh, I'm possibly going to be using a sander so I can smooth everything out. Because uh, you don't, ne I don't necessarily go need to get all the paint off, the blue paint. I'm just going to spray over it. It's much, it would be a whole lot faster and easier. I'm going to see what progress I can make today. So while moving this to my front yard, uh, mud got all over my paint. So I'm going to have to take a rag that I wet. I'm going to have to clean it off. So the seat uh, is dirty on the bottom, so whenever I stuck it on the paint, it messed it up. So I'm just uh, rinsing it off, basically I'm scrubbing it, cleaning the seat up. And you can smell the dry rot of this. It actually stinks. Uh, it's water damaged. Uh, that's and it also dry rotted right there. That's where uh, the zipper. Yeah. 
this is a tire it's actually really dirty but I already painted some of it uh, last night I didn't get all of it so basically I'm going to use this stuff to squirt around the uh, rim of the tire so that when paint gets on it, it uh, won't stick so I'm going to get some gloves got some white paint I'm going to spray it all in there this only costed me like two dollars or three dollars So I didn't get it perfectly, uh, completely off, but that should protect it from completely staying on the tire itself. Which you can see right here that I haven't got it completely off. Still running. So, what I'm probably going to have to do is just rub it off on there, certain spots. See, it makes it look a whole lot better and cleaner too. Even though I did mess up around here, but that doesn't really matter to me. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. See ya. So I just ran out orange paint on this first can. 
ran out of paint on this first can. So, uh, I got a second can, a can, and I hope I could use it for the rest of it. Now, the only problem is, is that I got a lot more to go. So, what I'm planning on doing is that I'm going to make the front of the car orange while continuing to make the back of the thing, uh, cart white as well. So, because I can't go back to the store to get more orange paint, so I gotta use it sparingly, basically. I got paint all over me. So I'm gonna make the pedals corresponding to their, what they do, so the brake would be red and then the gas would be green. I'm trying not to get any red on the orange paint. So I got this bag here. And I'm going to spray closely to this. I'm trying not to spray too much. That should work out just like that. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna let that dry right there. So basically what I did is that I took a plastic bag over the motor, uh, mainly because to prevent me spraying paint on it. And hopefully that'll protect the motor. Now the uh, red pedal, if I could get to it, is dry now. It's dry. So I'm going to start doing the other one. So my goal here is to take the orange and put it on the front of this while I have the white on the back so it kind of blends in. So all this is going to be white so I can save on my orange and all this is going to be orange. Okay. Going to start.
So I'm all out of orange paint now completely. So I wonder if I should make that white. Because it all right now it looks too orange. Everything's too orange. But on the back here it's all going to be white. The tire's going to be white. I wonder if I should make that white too. But I don't know if I have enough white paint. So I'm just going to paint all this white first. See if I if I have any left over I'd probably do that. But so far it's looking good. Uh, I'm going to let all this dry before I put the seat down, which I cleaned, uh, that'd be good. So now I'm going to put some WD-40 in uh, the cracks of the uh, turn uh, steering. So listen to this. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not, but I'm going to try this. Uh, put WD-40 some places. And as one final thing, I'm going to clean off the uh, tires on all of them, all the tires. I'm going to clean all the tires. So I'm going to clean off all the tires on the whole go-kart so it could look better. I'm going to spray some uh, paint on it. Uh, I'm going to spray some oily stuff to make it look shiny and stuff. I might even in some areas spray some black paint. So I'm going to do it. Basically, my card, my SD card got full on the camera, so uh, I can't use it no more. So I'm going to have to use my phone for the rest of the time. Um, so I'm finished with it, and so I'm going to have to start it and possibly ride it later on. Uh, I'm going to see. Um, I turned it on to get from the backyard to my front yard, but. Uh, I can't ride it in my yard, so I gotta have to ride it in my grandparents' yard. So, but, so I'm gonna have to ask if I could do that, and if I can, I can, if I can, I can't. But, uh, I'm fully finished, and I'm gonna 
do a, um, a panorama of it, basically. So, with my phone, which I hate, I hate that I can't do it with my camera. SD card, which is a 64 gigabyte card, it's completely full. Uh, I've been doing this since yesterday, so it's about six hours of work. I'm pretty sure, uh, or close to that. So. I'm happy with how it turned out. Uh, I don't know if this video that I'm recording now is good or not because I don't know if the camera is actually what's showing. So. Now I'm going to take this seat. I mean, it's still a little wet right here. But I'm going to sit in there like that. There you go. That looks cool. Okay. See if this bad boy works, which I already know it does, but turn it on. Pull the lever. Yeah, so that works. Works perfectly fine. Uh, now, the only problem I did encounter is that um, uh, the kill switch did not kill it first. So I had to redo it. I had to flip it again. So maybe that's something wrong with technical issues. But I don't know if I can fix that. So I'm just going to not worry about it. So I want to see if the WD-40 actually worked. Yeah, that's a whole lot better. Maybe need to spray some more right there because I think that's where the sounds come from. But other than that, that sounds great. And possibly the tire over there. So, other than that, going also I painted the uh, petals red and green. I don't know if I could show that on the other one, but I think it looks nice. So I finished putting in the WD-40, and I want to see if it actually makes it uh, the squeaking go away. Yep. There's no more squeaking on this bad boy right here. None at all. There are a few spots where I uh, didn't paint, but that's the only reason. Uh, the only reason is because I ran out of spray paint. If I had some more, which I'm not going to be able to go to the store today, I could uh, fix it. Which over here, uh, where is it? Yeah, under this one bar right here, uh, I didn't paint at all. So it's not going to be easy to see. No one will notice, but it's just a quality of life thing. Same with that and this underneath it, you could notice it a little bit more. Right there, but uh, I, once again, I ran out of spray paint, so I couldn't really do anything about that. Plus, it's not really noticeable, but it's a quality of life thing. Knowing that it's there would bug me, but can't do nothing about it. So that's good. That's gonna be it for uh, this episode, uh, day three. Uh, possibly tomorrow, I don't really know. I'm going to take it for a spin down at my grandparents' house. Uh, so, that's going to be good. And, uh, um, I think the highest it could go, I mean, as in, um, the speed as fast as it could go, is probably around 40 miles an hour the highest i think we got was 39 in our yard but on the road i can't ride it on the road number one my parents won't let me which i understand number two if this ain't made for roads it tear up the trim or the uh it tear up the treads it tear up the treads on the um, tires, so I don't want to do that because the tires are actually pretty expensive today. 
Um, so this is gonna be it. I'm gonna see later on if I can uh, drive it. So I only ride it after all this time, and we had to clean it off. I'm if I'm tired, so if uh, I sound tired and everything, um, I'm filming the intro after we finished the whole video. So I'm all sweaty and finally finished this. Uh, everything wrote it. I'm gonna have to edit it. Uh, so this is a fun video to make, but you know, all we had to do was wash it off and everything. I can get off the trailer. We're going to push it off the trailer, put it down over here to wash it because it has gotten dirty since I haven't I'll used it. Down off the trailer. You yeah. Why? Why? So the wheel is running over here. You got to pick it up and move it over. Okay. I got it. We'll okay. It. So, <laughs> <laughs> been in the uh, backyard out in the weather for a little while. It's been two months since I actually has uh, worked on it. But we're going to finally get to work on it today. We're finally going to get to work on it. Why is it wheel locking up? Sorry. It's uh, is on uh, floating over the ground. It's uh, over the ground. Okay. They didn't tell me that. Okay. So all we got to do is quickly rinse it off. And then we will be able to... Before you start anything, I haven't been started in a while. Well, actually, I just started it like literally like 10 minutes ago. We need to check the oil. Did yes. you check the oil in it? No. But there, uh, we need a little bit more gasoline in it. Yes, we got it. And we got gasoline. So, we're going to wash it off. And then we're going to ride it down in the meadow. Because the meadow's finally dry after all these years. Alright, we're filling the tank up with ethanol gas mid grade. That has stable in it so it doesn't rust the carburetor and ruin the engine. Yeah, we don't need that to happen because this is a fairly new uh, engine. All right, that's done. Now we got to check the oil in it. Yes, because it's been sitting out for so long, we don't want to anything to go wrong. Uh, we have not replaced the brakes yet. We probably won't get to that because the brakes are just way too expensive. But at least uh, we get to ride it. And you can probably tell by the tone of my voice, I'm really excited. To finally get to ride this after two months of working on it, after I painted it, I like to call this the cream sickle. This is a cream sickle motorcycle. I like to call it the motorcycle because it's a cream sickle color. We're checking the oil. Yeah, we're checking the oil right here. Uh, the battery on my camera is going dead, so I'm going to have to change that real quick. Look like somebody got way too much oil in it, son. Yeah, it's starting Who to leak out. I don't know. It's leaking out all over the place. Well, I think the oil's fine if it's leaking out that no, good. That, too much oil in the engine can ruin an engine. Well, yeah, that, but the oil looks fine in itself and ain't burnt or anything. No, it's too full. Yes. So it's going to have to empty out. See, the reason I'm smelling that oil, because if you have a leak in that uh, carburetor, that water, that oil, a gasoline go down inside that oil filter. Yeah. I'm going to hurry up and change the battery of my camera real quick. The tire's flat. We're going to have to fill it up with air. We don't know the exact PSI for it just yet, but... You look on the side of the tire and it tells you. Yes, it tells you on the side of the tire. But if I'm not mistaken, it should be 32 PSI like any other vehicle tire. Or it might even be less, but I really don't, have, I really don't know. But I'm pretty sure that is. The problem is, is I realize that there's no cap on this. So I don't know... If that's why air is getting out, because there's no cap on it. But this whole thing needs to be rinsed off completely. So the uh, tire actually says a 7 PSI. We found it. So don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's not 34. It's 7. Look at that tire. It's going up. Okay. So it should be 7 PSI. Do you have anything to check the tire? Yes, pressure sir. amount? 
called a Sears tire gauge. Okay. It's electronic, battery operated. It's precise. It's very good. Yes. Got, we're not sponsored, so. All right, look. How many pounds do they have on that tire right now? It's got... I can't zoom in any more. Uh, I can't read it from this angle. Five. It says five. Five point zero. Make sure you see that point in there. So you just air up the tire. It's a seven psi. It was originally five, so it should be good now. Ten point five. That's too much. All right, so what you get that air come out? Yep. Ten. Ten. Nine point five. No, cold air is coming out of it still. Yeah, I know. How much is it now? Nine. Nine. It, it should be just. It's seven. Why? You, oh. It's nine. I know the original PSI was seven. Oh, now it's eight. eight. I'm leaving on eight. All right, read your front tires. Then my other short tail. Okay. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> we just realized uh, that this tire is actually on backwards because the stem is actually on this side. I don't know if you can see it, but this stem is literally on the inside, which is not supposed to be like that. And I totally didn't even notice when I was painting this thing, which is always, crazy. Always, folks, remember this. The valve stem always goes to the outside, put the proper amount of air in there, and then you safe. And always put valve caps on it because it prevents uh, leakage. Uh, leakage in it. Yes. So we bought this huge, like, so many years ago. And apparently, whoever built this put the wheel on backwards and put too much oil in it, the uh, motor. But the motor is new, so it might have been one of us. I don't know. It's been so long. We almost got this thing ready to be washed. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't... How do you accidentally put this on backwards? Because it's a split rim. It comes apart. Yes. And they put this... this the rim clips in two like this. It's got a tube in there, and they should have put this side on the outside and this side on the inside. Yes. They did just backwards. Fast backwards. Which is crazy. No, it's just this. That's the reason I always trust your local mechanic in There's lamps on there. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. <laughs> Failed attempt. Dang it. Ooh, let's try this again.
go around this curve. Okay, let's see how fast this goes. Crazy. My GoPro quit working though. I'm gonna see if I can drift.
those are the brakes whistling. Probably shouldn't do that. So we got the we got the belt just flew off. We tore up the belt. It's still hot. You watch on. Because I I was straddling it. It's slept here. Yes. That but, might not be going all the way out when that belt's a wide belt and fit that in. You need that old belt to get your new belt for it. Same yes. Belt. Yes. Uh. Do it's hot, Joy. Yeah, yeah it's hot. But uh, it just cut. It, it happens. That's what Forrest Gump said. It happens. Oh, because uh, it happens uh, when we drove it before. Uh, we had to replace it like five times. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to, we had to fix it some way. Uh, we're gonna have to figure it out. Oil bubbling out from that thing because it's getting hot. It was I smelt well, it. I, I can smell, no, feel it. I don't yeah. see it's still full now. It's full now. So we ruined the uh, well. The belt's gone. We had to push it all the way up. <laughs> but we're gonna have. We're just gonna grease it next time. See if it helps. Yeah. No, but don't get no grease inside there. Get on, see right there, that thing pulls in and out. I thought you were trying to have yeah, it. Yes, sir. Uh, it's so bad if it's not too hot, throw it over on the Oh, okay. Have that belt yeah. Oh. Ain't that bad. Ripped. Ah, yeah, it's still hot. It is. Whew. It's if we can't put it on the. Well, I mean, it's not hot when you first touch it, but then it starts burning after yeah. a while. Well, I got, that was fun when it lasted. I tried to drift with it. I don't know how good it looked, well, but from here. Drift, so you got be tired, it won't drift good like that. Yeah, but Daddy made it drift but once. Right there, though, when it kind of damp. Yeah. Do you feel yourself going? Yeah, I, I, the problem is, is that I kept feeling myself sliding out. We need uh, to do something. Even if we had to add, like, a strap in there just to keep you in place. You need a better seat. To yes, because it's not even connected. But I tried drifting so hard, but I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's hard to do. It is really hard. Exactly. But the there's there's also another problem I figured out. When I was turning sharp, yeah. and I was still pushing, this tire hit that area, and it rubbed off all the paint right there. It was completely turned, and then it was, and also the steering wheel quit working when you sharp it. Yeah. It's just still going straight, even though it's turned. That's because your front end's out like, all right, look, this wheel right here is straight now, see? Yes. So that wheel is not outward. Yeah. What you have to do is take this tie rod in right here. Take it loose right here and screw that in. I'll pull that wheel over this way. See, it pull over that way. It pops off there. Yeah. And screw that in. Somebody's got it screwed out there for some reason. 
Yeah, but whenever you turn it too far and you're still going, you keep going straight and it doesn't want to turn. Yeah. And uh, so I had to be careful with that. With your alignment's oh, yeah. out. But the way to align these, put something like this, right in the middle of that tire, put it here and mark it. Yep. Then go to the front, do the same thing. All right, see how much it's off? It's off from here to here. Yes, it's it's off a lot. Yeah, but there's no problem. See, you can adjust each side of this thing. I say, pop that off there, screw that in, and pull it this way, and that'll correct itself. Yes. It's called the front end alignment. I was trying to uh, drift. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. We'll put oil on the grass. Yeah, or put oil on sure, tires. Right. We're going to push it up there, and I'll, I'll get back when we do. Finally done filming for this video. So I'm going to do an outro when I get home. And I'm going to... And I still have to... At the time of recording this video right here, I actually still got to uh, record the intro. So... And also, he won first place in the race. Yeah, I'm the only one who raced, so-called, quote-unquote, <laughs> race. Put that in there. Yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm sweating. It's, it's a good degrees outside. It's 85. It's still hot, and, though. He went up to Papaw's house and uh, rode it on his uh, six-acre property up there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I'm going to have to, rec when I get home, I'm going to record the intro and outro. We still have a lot of work on it, like fixing the... Uh, brakes and then uh, the, the belt. belt getting the new belt for it and yeah. possibly making the belt cover to go on top of it and changing the oil but please like I didn't notice this but the motor actually turned this whole thing black this whole white paint maybe that wasn't a good idea even down there maybe that wasn't a good idea to paint that white because now it's all going to be completely black but it just adds to the color I like it so also, I like I still like how he painted that red for break and green for go. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> I had a whole lot of fun. I, I'm sad that the belt broke, but uh, um, we're got, we have like said two more, and so I might do it more riding later. I might have move more episodes, but it's right as of right now, this is the end of the trilogy. And um, hope y'all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And check out my, uh, the other two videos of me working on this, painting it, grinding it, and everything. Uh, also, please watch the other playlists on my channel of us restoring the 1972 Volkswagen Super Beetle and my dad's truck. Um, and I hope y'all subscribe for more content like this, and thank you for watching. Bye.